Hello friends, how would you like to learn a few productivity tricks using some Outlook shortcuts for email? In this video series, I'm going to teach you how to create content once and reuse it with just a few clicks. The first video focuses on quick parts. If you've never heard of quick parts, don't worry, by the end of this video, you will love quick parts. I'm Sue Viscara, the Digital Declutter Diva. Let's get started. We're going to review how to create, use, edit, organize, and delete the quick parts. And at the very end, I will show you how to create a shortcut to your shortcut. Let's begin with a new email. So I'm going to select a new email. I'm going to make sure my cursor is in the body of the message. At this time, I actually saved something that I created elsewhere. You can actually just start typing anything that you want. I'm going to use the content that I pre-created. I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to do control A to select everything. Navigate to the top where you'll see the word insert. Click on that menu, insert. Move about three quarters of the way across the ribbon until you see quick parts. Click on that arrow. Then I want you to navigate all the way to the bottom where it says save selection to quick gallery, quick part gallery. We're going to rename this, whatever works for you. In my example, I'm just gonna use the word thank you and I'm gonna click okay. Now that is saved in our quick parts gallery as text. We can also do photos and we can do tables. In this example, we're going to add a photo as a quick part. So go ahead and select new email. Remember to put your cursor inside of the body of the email. I'm going to paste a photo that I've already saved. You have to select the photo and make sure that those little bubbles are on the outside that lets you know that you actually did select the photo. Let's go back over to insert, quick parts, save selection, to the gallery. We're going to call it Tiger and we're going to choose OK. You may want to use this feature if you need to send someone a headshot or a logo. If you think of any other ideas, add those in the comments below for others. This time we're going to add a table. Perhaps there is something, a weekly report, data that you need from someone that you want to send them a blank table to fill out. In this example, I have a table here. I'm gonna select the table. Remember, it's Control A to select the table. Insert, Quick Parts, Save Selection, and I'm just calling it Emergency. Click OK. So now you've seen how to add a photo, text, and a table. To use a Quick Part, start with a new email. Make sure you place the cursor in the body of the message. Navigate to Insert, Quick Parts, and choose the one that you want. Let's go ahead and organize and or delete some of the ones that we've created. You'll need to start inside of a blank email again in the body, place your cursor, navigate to insert, quick parts, hover over any of them, right click, organize and delete. Let's go ahead and just click, select one to delete, choose delete, it's gonna prompt me and I'm going to say yes, go ahead and delete this one. So let's close out and let's talk about something else. I can actually edit a quick part, but maybe not in the traditional way that you would imagine. Again, I'm in a new email. I'm gonna to navigate to the insert menu, choose quick parts, locate the quick part that I would like to change, insert this into my email, make the change. So we're going to make a brief change. We're going to just give some bolding to the headers. Now I'm going to select all of the content again. I'm going to save it to the quick parts. Now remember the name for this was actually thank you. I'm going to use the same name again. This will then prompt me if I want to actually replace the one that currently exists and I want to say yes. So now actually you've made an edit to the quick part. Remember, quick parts are only saved to your local machine. 
you are not able to access them on Outlook.com. However, in the next video, I'm going to show you a way that you can use something called My Templates in order to create the same thing, but make it available on Outlook.com. So check that out in the next video. Leave some comments below letting all of us know how you have decided to use Quick Parts so we can give it a try as well.